हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट सब टॉपिक्स इन इम्यूनो हेमाटोलॉजी आई होप यू विल पे योर बेस्ट अटेंशन सो लेट्स बिगिन सब टॉपिक्स आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स फर्स्ट बायोकेमिस्ट्री ऑफ ब्लड ग्रुप सब्सटेंसेस सेकंड इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ एबीएच एंटीजेंस नाउ लेट्स हैव अ क्विक रिविजन फ्रॉम अ लास्ट लेक्चर व्हाट वी हैव स्टडीड फर्स्ट blood and blood components second the blood group system abo and rh third blood donor group fourth bombay blood group i hope the concepts are clear if you have any doubt you can ask moving ahead we'll see the blood function it transports oxygen carbon dioxide nutrients hormones heat and wastes it regulates ph and maintains temperature and water content of cells it protects against blood loss through clotting it protects against disease through phagocytic white blood cells and antibodies now first we'll understand the biochemistry of blood group substances how this substances are synthesized A and B antigens are synthesized by transferase enzyme and differ only by the nature of the terminal carbohydrate to D galactose residue that also has L fucose in 1 2 linkage of the N linked oligosaccharides chain this you will understand when you will see the pictures N acetyl galactosamine is added by A transferase and d galactose by b transferase now as you we uh, as we understand blood type o or the group o individuals they have defective a or b transferases why because they don't have a and b antigen on its surface therefore there will be no terminal carbohydrate added but they have h antigen present on their surface so sugar fucose will be added to the terminal end on the abc now we will see one by one formation of h antigen see the picture carefully you can see your rbc is connected to the precursor substance now what is precursor substance it's a proteins and lipids formed on an oligosaccharide chain it's a basic structure now here h gene codes for an enzyme 1 2 fucosyl transferase if you see that adds sugar fucose to the terminal sugar of a precursor substance see here you can see fucose is getting added to galactose the terminal end of the precursor substance so this is how h antigen is formed next formation of a antigen now we know antigen h is playing a very important role in formation of a antigen as well as b antigen so in this picture you can see fucose sugar is present as well as the sugar added by the enzyme which is coded by a gene 13 n acetyl galactosaminyl transferase to the terminal end that is n acetyl galactosamine so both the sugars you can see over here fucose as well as n acetyl galactosamine this is the picture of formation of a antigen next we will understand immuno dominant sugar this added sugar they are immuno dominant why because they confer to the abo antigen specificity now formation of b antigen see the picture precursor substance is the same fucose sugar is present due to h antigen now b gene codes for enzyme 
1,3 galactosyl transferase that adds D-galactose to the terminal sugar of the H antigen. Here you can see fuco sugar is also present, D-galactose is also present. So this is how B antigen is formed. This is the schematic representation showing the enzymes, how they are synthesizing the antigens. Now here one enzyme, SE enzyme or it is also called as secretor enzyme. This is present which is involved in synthesis of H antigen. We have not studied it yet. We will see in the coming slides. So it is playing a very much uh, major role in synthesis of H antigen through which antigen A, antigen B are formed. So let's go further. Sorry. This is the schematic representation. Showing, see, gene, enzyme, sugar. Column 1, gene, A, B, H. In the next column, enzymes. See, as we know, gene A, it codes for enzyme 1, 3N, acetyl galactosaminyl transferase, adding galnac sugar to the terminal end of H antigen. B gene, it codes for 1,3 galactosyl transferase which adds gal sugar to the terminal end of H antigen. An H gene codes for 1,2 fucosyl transferase and adds FUC sugar at the terminal end of the precursor substance. Okay, this is clear. Next. Now we will understand inheritance. Now what is inheritance? Inheritance is genetic characteristic which is transferred from parent to offspring. Okay. So now here we will understand antigens and enzymes are genetically controlled. Controlled by whom? Genes. Now what are genes? Genes are responsible for transfer of hereditable material and they are found on chromosomes which are found in the nucleus of every cell. Okay? Now, human cell contains 46 chromosomes with the exception of the egg and sperm which contain only 23 chromosomes each. Huh? Means egg contain 23 chromosome sperm contains 23 chromosome means 23 from father 23 from mother now the position of gene is occupied on chromosome which is called as locus now in both mother as well as father the gene is present on the same locus showing the same trait. Okay. Now we will understand ABO and H antigen genetics. Now gene at three separate loci control the occurrence and location of ABO antigens. Next, the presence of and the absence of ABH antigen is controlled by H and ABO genes. Presence and the absence of ABH antigens in secretions is indirectly controlled by SC gene. See, now we will understand what SC gene actually is. Now here uh, it is written secretions. Now secretions means what? It can be saliva, it can be sinual fluid, it can be plasma, any body fluids. Okay. Next. 
Now ABO and RH inherit independently. So here we can understand the dominant and the recessive characters. Dominant means what? Uh, in which characteristics is shown? And recessive are who? In which characteristics are hidden? So A and B are dominant and O are recessive. Now for understanding the inheritance, we should also understand phenotype and genotype. Phenotype. Phenotype means what? It's the individual's outward characteristic. What is genotype? It's the individual's pair of allele genes together. Now what is allele? It's the alternative forms of genes that influence a given characteristic. For example, blood type B is a phenotype. It's a outward characteristic. But its genotype is BO or BB. It depends on the parent's genotype. It can be any one. Okay. Next, some more examples. H gene it has two alleles. What are alleles? I have told you that they are the alternative form of gene that influence a given characteristic. So there uh, might be a pair of alleles in each gene. So H gene has two alleles. Here H and H means capital H and small h. SE gene, secretor gene, it has two alleles. Capital S small e and small s small e. See, uh, you have to write it in this way only. You cannot change it, its notation. Capital S, small e and small s, small e. These are the alleles. ABO gene, A, B and O alleles. Fine. See, now possible blood group genotypes. These are the genotypes. Huh? Parent allele, you can see this row vertically and horizontally a b o a b o now their cross will form some genotypes so a a will form a a cross will form a a genotype a b will form a b a o will form a o so in the same manner b a allele will form a b genotype b b allele will form b b genotype and B O allele will form B O genotype. Next, O A allele will form A O genotype. O B allele will form B O genotype. And O O allele will form O O genotype. Now, going ahead, as we were talking about the S E gene, now we will understand here A B O antigens in secretions. Secretions, as I told, they might be any body fluids like plasma, saliva, or the synovial fluid. Now, blood group substances are soluble antigens, A, B, H, that can be found in the secretions. But how they are found? There must be some uh, expressor gene or something, na, which they can find out. So, secretors express soluble forms of H antigen in secretions that can be converted to A and B antigen by the transferases. So, now you can understand secretor gene is playing a major role in finding out the soluble antigens in secretions. Okay. And this is controlled by whom? H and SE genes. Now secretor genes has two alleles. Capital S small e and small s small e. Now capital S small e gene is responsible for the expression of H antigen on glycoprotein structures located in body secretions. So that's how it is responsible to express H antigen. Now there are two types, okay, secretor 
एंड नॉन सिक्रेटर लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड नाउ कैपिटल एस स्मॉल ई एल एल इज इनहेरिटेड एज कैपिटल एस स्मॉल ई कैपिटल एस स्मॉल ई और कैपिटल एस स्मॉल ई स्मॉल एस स्मॉल ई ओके दीज आर द टू फॉर्म्स सो दे आर सिक्रेटर स्मॉल एस स्मॉल ई एल एल इज इनहेरिटेड एज स्मॉल एस स्मॉल ई स्मॉल एस स्मॉल ई विच आर नॉन सिक्रेटर Small s, small e is an amorph. What is amorph? It is like nothing is expressed. Means it is not expressive. So small s, small s, small e individual do not convert antigen precursor to H antigen. So it is not involved in conversion of antigen precursors to H antigen and has neither soluble H antigen nor soluble A or B antigen in body fluids. Okay. understood so capital s small e gene it involves in the h antigen uh, expressions in the secretions and helps h antigen in conversions conversion to a antigen and b antigen small s e gene it has like no role it cannot convert antigen precursors so no antigen is secreted in saliva or body fluids those are non secretor okay thank you if you have any questions i think it will be confusing when you understand the enzyme part or the linkages part but once you understand the concept it will be clear to you If you have any doubts you can ask me Thank you